Welcome back, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, the Boston Celtics are my favorite team, as we know. And today, we will be rebuilding the Boston Celtics, even though they're the best team in the NBA. They are our second-to-last regular team rebuild in NBA 2K24, so that's something to be excited about. Because I never before have made 30 videos of all 30 teams being rebuilt in a 2K game, so that's a very exciting accomplishment for me. But nonetheless, we're going to jump in and make sure the Celtics get that 18th championship. First things first, make sure I'll leave the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and let's fix the damn Boston Celtics. They don't need to be fixed. <laughs> So I have incorporated start from today into this rebuild, ladies and gentlemen. So the Celtics are 22 and 6 and the best team in basketball at the moment. Even though 2K is being a little rude here and saying the Timberwolves are better, even though they have the same amount of wins. I'm just saying, uh, the Celtics are undefeated at home. You know, it's always good to go to TD Garden, man. I love my Celtics, bro. Literally, I don't think anything needs to be done. The Celtics have the best starting six in basketball. I mean, the bench has really come alive. Uh, Sam Hauser, Peyton Pritchard have been playing well. Luke Cornett can even get you some buckets here and there, you know what I'm saying? But none Nonetheless, I don't know at the moment what to do with this Celtics team. I think we just go, y'all guessed it, we go to the trade deadline, like I say every video, and we'll just see how the Celtics are doing, man, and see if we can make any little improvements. And the Celtics are 36 and 15 at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. They are still the best team in the East. I think what this team lacks, in my opinion, not only in 2K, but in real life, obviously, is like, you know, backup center, like a good caliber backup center. Listen, as much as I love the corn star, I, I need to improve the backup center position. And we're gonna quickly look through and see if we can go trade for our backup center. I don't know who's on the block right now. I mean, Dwight Powell would be perfect. We're just going to quickly look through and see who would be a good fit. Honestly, Brandon Clark would be kind of a dub, not going to lie. I mean, there's probably better people I could get, though. I'm not bringing the Kardashian curse back to Boston. That's not happening. I could make the annual Daniel Tice trade for the Celtics because he comes back to Boston like every year. If you ask me, a guy like Onyeka Kungwu, who is the starting center for the Hawks, could be a W backup center for us behind Brzingis. I'm going to give it a shot. Might have to give up a few pieces to get it done. Nah, the, the money's never going to match on that one, so we're simply just, we're, we're going to go back and keep taking a look and see who we can find. You know, Kevon Looney is a great backup center. Um, That's something to consider as well. Honestly, the money's never really going to match. I'm trying to trade Cornette for our new backup center, and our backup center, our new backup center needs to be uh, basically a minimum guy, because that's all I can afford, because Luke Cornette is also on a minimum deal. You know, Christian Wood's on a minimum deal. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be the one, ladies and gentlemen. You can take Luke Cornette, for Christian Wood, counter offer. You want Al Horford? I'm not giving you Al Horford. No, not happening. I'll give you a first round. The Celtics have plenty of draft capital, and you can take our pick, dude. I will gladly give it to you, dude. Seriously, I'll give you another one, because I know we're going to win the championship. Take two first for Christian Wood, for all I care. So Christian Wood off the bench should definitely solve some things for this Celtics team that are basically almost a perfect squad. I don't hate anybody on the Celtics, bro. I know that sounds a little biased, because I'm a Celtics fan, but like, you know what I mean? Like, the whole team is just comes such a long way and man dude when i started watching these boys uh, actually let's see make the first game of the season uh it's a loss against the wizards that's not a good sign uh let's see who played well christian wood nine six and two all right like to see that but as i was saying the celtics actually when i first started watching them won 25 games the first season it's when they entered their rebuild and traded kg pierce for all those picks and everything like that so it's, I've, I've come a long way of watching this squad, man, and I, I've really just seen these guys come from the trenches. Tatum's gonna test free agency. Drew Holiday wants an extension. I'll give it to him. Same with Derek White has been such a dark horse for the Celtics this year. We're 38 and 20. We're actually losing more games, surprisingly, so but we'll keep simulating. We should still finish as the top team in the East, I would imagine. So if we stop losing games right now, what the hell is happening? But I believe we should still get it done, man. It's concerning that we're losing games. Why are we losing games? You know there's a serious problem if we're losing by that much to the, uh, the Pistons that's not good all right the celtics should hopefully turn it around and figure it out jason tana made all nba third team he had 25 a game and we slip all the way to the four seed how does that happen well we got the Cavs up first we should beat them right we should absolutely beat them i know they're a good team we're not going to sweep them by any means but game one is a Cavs win by 11 game two Oh, 2K, don't do this right now. 2K, don't do this. 2K is a bad game. It's such a bad game. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Well, redo the rotation to an eight-man rotation, and just hopefully we can pull out a win. It's on the road. See if the boys can do it and not get swept by Cleveland, which is just very unrealistic. Two minutes to go, 118, 116. Can we get a bucket and tie it up? And we do. I'm not going to jump in. I'm just simply watching to see if we pull out this win. Can we get a lead? And we do. It is tied. Okay, I might actually have to jump. I'm jumping in i gotta watch like why are we in this position you know what i mean like eh, why are we down 3-0 to the Cavs? So we should not even be the four seed like how stupid is this donovan mitchell six seconds five seconds donovan mitchell might just send us 
home with a sweep. And he's gonna, isn't he? He is 100%. Oh my god. And timeout. 1.3 seconds to go. Here we go. Get it into JT or somebody. JT's running to the court. Oh my god. Drew Holiday's not making that. Drew Holiday. Yeah, no. What a stupid shot. And into overtime. We're gonna make sure we go in here and hopefully the Celtics can pull out a win and stay alive. And they're up in overtime right now. And ladies and gentlemen, they're about to hopefully get a win. I'm gonna jump back in. Yeah, we're playing the foul game at this point. So we should be good. Into Drew Holiday. He's gonna get fouled immediately by DG. Drew Holiday to put us up four. He breaks it. And the Cavs take a timeout, rightfully so. Into Donovan Mitchell, who immediately takes a three and he misses it. And the Celtics are gonna walk out of here with a win because you know Tatum's about to make both these freebies. Cavs need a desperation three. Donovan Mitchell for the last resort, and it is no good. Jared Allen gets it, but that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Celtics are dumb hype to be down three to one. I'm willing to bet Tatum had a ridiculous game. Yeah, because it's an elimination game. Tatum does not miss in elimination games, dude. 44 and 14 is wild. At least the Celtics are at home for this next one, ladies and gentlemen. So it'll get very interesting if they get a win here, go down three to two, then they have to figure out how to win in Cleveland again. And if they can do that, then they are back home for a game seven, which is wild. And they're about to win this one. And beautiful Brown with 34. We're down three to two going into game six into Cleveland. And the Celtics jumped out to an early lead in this one, ladies and gentlemen. And they are, oh my God, they ran away with it. They should be out of here with a 141 to 118 victory. The Jays combined for 66. Absolutely incredible. Come on, boys. We're one game away from a game seven in the garden, dude. I mean, I, the fact that we went down 3-0 in the first place is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I had the seeds reversed. I thought we were the four seed and they were the five seed, but so game seven's actually gonna be on the Wait, no, I'm dumb. Well, never mind me. The Celtics win in seven games. They win four in a row some way, somehow. Tatum has 33, Drew Holiday with 25, and we're in the second round as we should have taken care of business in the first place. And this is a weird enough simulation as is because the Pacers took the Bucks to seven games. The eight seeded Pacers. Shout out to Miles Turner, man. Okay. Well, we got the Bucks up next and we know what the Bucks look like. The Bucks are solid as always, especially in the eyes of 2K. Game one is a Celtics win. Game two is a Celtics win. How are we How are we playing better against the Bucks? How does that make any sense? Well, they just won two in a row. They just won three in a row. So 2K is going to make it harder on us again. They're at home. So it's a good place to start to do that. So hopefully the Celtics get out of here with a win. Then they go back to Milwaukee, but they can win in Milwaukee as we have seen in the past. And this is a close ball game in the fourth quarter. Celtics are trying to grind out a win here. 114, 113. And then the Bucks might take the lead. 117 all. Oh my God, this is close. Come on, Celtics. Come on, Celtics. Celtics are in the lead. Do the Bucks tie it? I'm jumping in to make sure they win. The Bucks are looking for one final chance to try to win the win the series now. Giannis with the ball, looking to go for two, six seconds, five seconds. Don't take a three, Dame. Don't do it, Dame. Don't do it, Dame. Okay, he's taking a two. At least he's taking a two. That's in, isn't it? Oh, he missed. He missed. And the Celtics force game seven, ladies and gentlemen. Elimination game, Tatum. 40 points. Y'all know the drill. What is this simulation? The six-seeded Knicks and seven-seeded Heat went to six games over there. And the six seeded Knicks are in the conference finals. This is crazy. Well, the Celtics have to get past game seven first before they can worry about the New York Knicks. So I think the Celtics can get this done here. They've proven they can win in Milwaukee. And this is looking like it's going to be a good one to finish, man. They are currently up 12, third quarter. Bucks are trying to claw their way back in, but the Celtics are low-key running away with it. And they will, ladies and gentlemen. Jason Tatum with 51 to finish them off. And he had 11 threes. That's crazy. And we got the six seeded Knicks. I think we should be able to take care of business against these boys. But then again, we should have taken care of business against the Cavs, and we didn't. So game one is going to be us. Game two is going to be the Celtics. Game three is the next. Game four, Celtics. Finish it out in five. Beautiful. Dylan Brown had 44. Tatum had 31 in that game. And then we are waiting. We're probably going to finish the, the seven-seeded Mavericks. What is this simulation, bro? We're going to sim this game over here. And yep, the, the, the Mavericks, we got to take on Luka. The seven-seeded Mavericks, ladies and gentlemen. This is crazy. Well, anyways, this is what the Mavericks are looking like. Same old, same old. Game one is us. Game two two is us game three is us finish out in four celtics nope okay luca holds on and the celtics finish out in five and luca is finals mvp i i, I that's a great stat line but he lost in five games should not be the finals mvp i'm so mad 2k has not fixed that i mean luca's putting up stats like this yeah they had a great series but he lost in five games should have been tatum who was averaging 31 a game in the playoffs so but you know it is what it is celtics are nba champions if you guys enjoyed this video here's another video for y'all right here also make sure you leave your video ideas down below they're very much appreciated but other than that guys it's been teebs thank y'all for watching and i'll see y'all tomorrow